My name is Giovanni Zelko. I am the uh, writer, director, editor, and the executive producer of my film. My film is The Interview. It's a short film, it's 12 minutes long, and shot on Super 16, and it's here at the AOF. If not, we leave you here. We never met. And you don't know who the fuck I am. Got it? Got it. And it's actually a scene taken out of a feature film script that I wrote with another person named Tom Boss. And what we wanted to do is to showcase a pivotal scene of the film and try and have all the main characters and actors meet at that point, at that juncture, and show uh, the main motifs of the film and what we're trying to accomplish for the entire feature. It's an action film, it's an international spy thriller uh, on the lines of Born Identity films and we're setting it up as a trilogy. 60 seconds. Are you sure you want to go through with it? Yeah. This should be good. Begin. It's an ambitious feature and the short film kind of sets up the, the timeline for what we're trying to do and even though it was only a short film shot in one day, it was really a wonderful experience to bring in some very talented actors and talented stuntmen to create 12 minutes which I consider to be on par with most action films that you'll see out there today. We shot uh, a total of 79 setups in one day using three cameras. Now it was only possible because we had a crack crew of Hollywood technicians making the film. So our camera crew were just excellent. They were on the ball all day long. Our production team was on the ball all day long. And the pre-production of a month leading up to it really allowed us to take the nine hours of shooting and get every little drip of juice out of it. The actors were tremendous. Uh, Tom Boss did a wonderful job working with the stunt team and dialing in the action sequences and working with his acting coach to get the character down right and working with myself as a director to get his performance based on the, uh, the counter of the other actors and he did a wonderful job. Mr. Harry Lennox who is a, a fine fine actor and he's been in the business for many years was tremendous and he really brought the level of our film up to another notch and Harry did an amazing job uh, Harry was nominated for a for an award here at the AOF Festival, Best Villain in a Short Film, and Tom Boss, who plays the uh, the lead, was nominated as well as as Harry. Uh, Tom was nominated for Best Breakout Action Star, and uh, in a short film, uh, the, the stunt scene was very ambitious. We tried doing what we normally do in a feature film over the course of three or four days. We shot in half a day. And the stunt sequence was choreographed by Michael Jai White, who those who follow uh, action films will know him from Spawn. And he was in Batman this past summer as one of the main characters playing opposite the Joker. He's an amazing actor, an amazing martial artist, and an amazing choreographer for fight sequences. And Michael was gracious enough to come in and do the stunt chore choreography for us. The action stunt team was produced, was performed by the 8711 fight team and they're here out of Los Angeles. They worked on films like 300 and The Matrix. So the stunt coordinator's name is Aaron Tony, and Aaron was the person who took Michael's choreography, worked with Tom for a couple weeks and the other stuntmen and created a synergy with all the different moves and worked with me and where the camera was going to be for each sequence so that when it came time for shooting there was no thought. It was all completely choreographed and it was all dialed in and working with three cameras, it was just like boom, 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 boom. When you see the fight sequence, it's really a spectacular fight sequence. And I have to give total credit to Michael Jai White and to Aaron Tony and to all the guys of the 8711 fight team.
Sam Raimi, I worked with him about eight years ago, and I asked him the very same question. What do you suggest I do to become a better filmmaker, to really have my wings broaden and try and take flight with my work? And his response was interesting. He said, shoot, shoot, shoot. If you're very focused on what you're doing, by shooting, regardless of what the medium is, whether it's HD or film, you'll be able to look at your craft and refine it by practice. You can only do so much reading, which is critical as a foundation, but eventually you really need to take the tools in your hands, work with actors, and work with a production team, or work with a cast and a crew, and really create the synergy that is required in filmmaking. A director's position is very unique. It's one of an artist and a technician, and you have to be a great manager of skill and time in trying to bring together many different crafts and having a solid focus of all those crafts to achieve a, a purity that winds up on film. And the winner is Giovanni Zelka. And without having a venue like this to have all of our work shown, we wouldn't be able to show the world even our small, uh, small short films. A short film even like mine that's only 12 minutes long took 76 people. It took about four or five months of uh, 14, 15 hour days of preparation and one day of nine hour shooting. We did um, 73, 79 setups in eight and a half hours, which those of you that understand that is virtually impossible. <laughs> It took three cameras and uh, 28 people of not eating, not breaking for lunch, and racing the sun going down to do it. These are two of my actors, uh, Razor and Tom Voss, and they made it possible. So, a long time ago in film school, I asked uh, professors what a director does, and they didn't have an answer. And in, after 25,000 hours on set, as a technician, I still don't have an answer. Essentially, it requires one person to act as a funnel for hundreds of artists to come together and focus and be able to be a conductor to allow other people to do their jobs to the best of their ability and not get in the way. And this award goes to the entire cast and crew, and I thank all of you. Thank you.